All right, here we are at beautiful 412 High Tide Drive in Seagrove at St. Augustine Beach. There's a look down the street. Kind of a Key West motif. A front porch. Plenty of room for sitting. Got a intercom system. And here we go, into this beautiful home. Tile floors, kitchen, dining, family room combo. Quite spacious, light and bright. Granite counters, 42 inch cabinets, lower freezer side by side, glass top self cleaning range, breakfast area, And conveniently, there's a master bedroom on the ground floor. Plantation shutters on the French doors out to the porch. There's a grungy realtor. Don't look. <laughs> a little pressure washing today. Garden tub. Decorative tile and shower stall with Rebel Rock, River Rock rather, uh, <laughs> floor, water closet area. Walk-in closet. And before we go to the second level, I'll show you the back porch, right out the French doors with plantation shutters on the, off the kitchen. So we have two car garage, and a real nice size porch. Great thing is the kitchen and porch looks to the east, so it's nice and shaded for sitting in the afternoon. Beautiful, lush backyard with brick pavers, all fenced with uh, wrought iron type aluminum fencing. Uh, zoned heat and air systems, which have been replaced fairly recently, and high efficiency units, Puron, of course. Uh, brick walkway to the garage, and this section of the yard is also fence. They have a fruit tree that's going to have a good crop this year. So, back in the house. Tiles laid on the diagonal. We have a powder room. And a storage closet, which is also home of one of the air condensers, or uh, air handlers rather. Up the well-lit stairs. So we have a nice size window right in the staircase. We have uh, a light oak laminate flooring. And the landing at the top of the stairs with uh, a look back down the stairs. Lots of windows and staircase. 
We have uh, a linen closet, a nice sized guest bedroom with a Murphy bed, two windows looking west. What's also real nice is a uh, courtyard immediately across the street on this property, uh, which gives plenty of guest parking and uh, a place to throw the ball if you're so inclined or have a little room to run. We have second floor laundry, shelving and tile on the diagonal. We have uh, bath number Two. We've seen a powder room and a full bath downstairs with the downstairs master, so guest bath. Guest bedroom with walk-in closet. And a master bedroom with a uh, sun deck. Again, this is an easterly exposure. And this is a alley access to the back of the home, so your garage does not face the, the main entrance. And you have a, a nice alley with a, a, I should have pointed out earlier on our, when I was outside, it's a very deep, long driveway, so lots of additional parking there as well. And obviously the, the deck with the, uh, long-lasting type composite flooring. Uh, we have walk-in closet in this room. And again, tile on the diagonal. Tub shower with decorative tile. So, master down, master up. Three and a half baths. Uh, zoned heating and air. Another air handler unit. Another, oops, not a linen closet, a water heater closet. <laughs> And just one more, I'll take us on a quick lap around again. The stairs down, storage closet to the right, entry door to the left, all the way around is a powder room, and family room combo, and just another view of the front. Uh, whoop. Um, Again, that's the courtyard I was referring to, pardon the cars that are parked there at the moment, but uh, it just makes it uh, a real nice area for kids to play or have some fun. Well, that's it. Thank you for taking part of our tour.